Today on Knife Banner, we're talking about the best knives of 2019, and we have a special guest. Let's talk knives. How's it going guys? Welcome to Knife Banner, and today we are talking the best knives of 2019. We're stoked. I'm so stoked, my dudes. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. Um, so as is tradition, go down in the comments before you watch the video and guess what you think the number one knife for 2019 was. Um, and as we always do, the knives on the table are coming from your guys' purchases. So these are the most popular knives you guys bought during 2019. We've got a special guest. And at the end, me and Kurt are gonna talk about some of our favorites that didn't quite make uh, your guys' purchasing cuts. Right. So let's jump into number nine. Freaking excited! Number nine, number nine. is the <laughs> Kershaw. <laughs> nice drum roll. <laughs> Kershaw Mini Natrix. Mm. And I mean, what a beaut. What a beaut. Boy, what a beaut. <laughs> uh, D2 steel, deep carry pocket clip, uh, Copper. Everybody yeah. loves copper this year. Copper's a thing. Cop copper is copper's that new hotness. We've, it is. we've got a bunch of copper stuff at Blade HQ right now. We've got a bunch more coming. A yeah. couple secrets on the way. So uh, no surprise to see this also in the D2 steel, deep carry pocket clip. It's got all the things you're looking for right. in 2019. I agree. Great knife. Maybe, maybe copper is the new black. Huh? Copper might be the new black. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, guys, this thing is solid. Jump online if you haven't already bought one this year and get one for $62.95. And that, I think that's another thing too, it's that we're seeing a lot more in 2019, um, that D2 in right. that pretty low price range. Yeah. So you're getting a stellar steel, good materials, and like great action on knives, right. including this Natrix. Yeah, right? yeah, Natrix has a good detent. All so. right, uh, so uh, for number knife number eight uh, for 2019, this one's actually kind of a surprise. The Kershaw Barge. I was not expecting this one. <laughs> really? Yeah. So this huh. was this was the the eighth most purchased knife from everybody at Blade HQ. Um, and it's just you know it goes for fourteen ninety nine. GFN handles got a drop point blade. It's got the big pry bar on the back. Big old pry bar. I mean, it's a cool knife, but I was definitely like a little surprised to see this oh, one. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but you know, every year we have knives that go like on a crazy sale or whatever, and right. so right like. There's a lot, a lot of people buy them. And this one has been on some good sales, but uh, yeah, Kershaw Barge. Great little pocket tool and kind of, a, kind of an interesting one to be so high on the list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, number seven. You know it well as the M&P OTF. Oh man, and this Single is- Single action Yeah, so this OTF. is number seven for 2019, but this is the number one purchase knife in New Hampshire. <laughs> That's right. If you guys, That's right. Yeah, if yeah, you guys haven't watched the, the state, state knife, right. exactly. <laughs> the state knife video, 2019, New Hampshire. Yep, their it, favorite It's knife. a good one. Uh, yeah, you guys know the drill on this thing. Yeah, it's, uh, got a, it's got a lot of buttons and switches, but you guys love it. Um, right. So it's not my personal jam, but man, people love it. They sure do. They sure and do. And that is why it's number seven. <laughs> All right, uh, next up, no surprises here. Number six for 2019 is the Kershaw. <laughs> that is not correct. Or the Kershaw. The Boker Kalashnikov. <laughs> I was looking at Kershaw, that barge. Kershaw Kalashnikov, uh, that's it, close. It rhymes. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no so the Boker Kalashnikov, specifically the Warhawk, which really? I thought was interesting. Yeah, yeah, because this is a new pattern for, for 2019. So this one, as you guys can see, is a little dirty. This is a department Warhawk. Um, because we are all sold out right now. Right. Uh, I don't the, as of the taping of this video. So when this video goes live, we might have some on the website. I don't know, um, but we have a ton of new Kalashnikov variations that came out this year. Um, so like at the top of the list are like all these new styles of Kalashnikov. Right. But this was the most sold Kalashnikov, and Kalashnikovs overall were number six in the most sold. That's nice cool for 2019. Gotta love a Kalashnikov. Gotta love a good Kalashnikov. And those go for $42.95 on the website. Depends on the variation. Right. All right, guys. Up next. You guys loved it. It's number five. 
We've got the Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. I was excited to see this one, because yeah. this one is a brand new entry for 2019. Right. Um, and uh, it made its way to the top of the charts pretty fast, man. Right, yeah. yeah. It's so basically, instead of the G10, uh, this is an FRN handle, the scales are FRN. It's got a compression lock, a wire clip. Yeah, to deep save carry on. wire deep, clip. Deep carry wire clip. And it's the pair of three, but it is significantly lighter. Significantly. What's the, I forget what the blade steel is on this. This blade steel, they kind of do some different blade steels right. here and yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. This one is CTS BD1N. It's the BD1N, yeah, okay, BD1 N. that's right. So, pair of three, lightweight. Yeah. And they're $91 on the website. Yeah, this is an awesome knife. And you know, again, this is, this is another trend that we're seeing in 2019 with knives is a little bit lighter. Yeah. And again, like these kind of like a little bit nicer material on a, on a little bit more of a budget knife, right? Like at right. 90 bucks. I mean, this is a this is a stellar spider coat at 90 bucks with a compression lock, good blade oh, steel, yeah. deep carry wire clip. This is a great knife for 90 it's, bucks. It's everything you want. Yeah, really. it really is. Um, I love the compression lock. The Para 3 is my personal favorite. Um, Mine as well. For spider, from spider coat, that shaman's Pretty close, but the pair of three. Um, you know, one thing with this though that I think is interesting is, you know, there's a there's a handful of knives that have kind of these FRN or these glass filled nylon or you know right. whatever the style is, but these these kind of polymer plasticky handles. Um, and this one feels it just it never quite hit for me personally. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the, the grip on this one? You know what? It's it's really good this way. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's not so good this way. Yeah. When you get up higher, like you're like, oh, there's a lot more grip here. Right. Well, and I feel like I would rather have down a little mm. grip. Right, I'm, going down and coming of going down up. the scale huh. with my thumb. But yeah, yeah, going up it's great. But I don't, I don't ever put forward thumb pressure when I'm cutting. Right, for sure. I mean, me personally. Yeah. So. No, but it, it and the thing that I think is awesome about this is again, pair of three, super light and super affordable. Right. So great knife. Definitely. That's a good one. That was number five. Number five. All right. So number four. Again, no surprises on number four, I feel like. It's a Boker Strike, man. Boker Strike. These 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 Boker autos, man, they just you guys love these things, and we do too. Like we all have them. <laughs> like, right. We love these knives. So the Boker Strike, specifically this Desert Warrior version of it. So this is a Blade HQ exclusive Desert Warrior version. Um, that Warhawk is also a Blade HQ exclusive version. And same thing with the Kalashnikovs. We have a, a ton of different variations of these things on the website. Tons of different exclusives. Um, this has a four-way or a, sorry, the, the two-way reversible pocket clip, and uh, yeah, great knife. Yeah. And speaking of copper, I've heard rumors, and I don't know if they're out yet or not, but I've heard rumors that there's going to be a strike in copper. <gasps> so if we haven't launched them yet, check oh the my, website. Oh my goodness. Because there'll be at least a listing at least for you to check them out. And uh, those go for, again, right, those right around forty two ninety five. you know, right in that same price range right. as the Kalashnikov. Hey, you can't go wrong with a Boker Auto. Dude, those, I mean, the compact, the key home, right. the strike, the Kalashnikov, like all of them are just awesome. Right. Yeah. I agree. Okay, guys, number three, and this one doesn't surprise me because everybody has been wanting one of these. So this doesn't surprise me, but it also is a little surprising that it made it this far. It's kind of right. the, like the pair three lightweight that it made it this far in just a short period of time. Right. Yeah. It is the CRKT CEO. This one is in the uh, carbon fiber. That's not entirely accurate. Well, it's like a carbon fiber pattern. Carbon yeah. fiber pattern. Mm -hmm. It's a milled pattern mm -hmm. on GFN scales. Yeah. Now we had this version. We have this version, mm -hmm. and, and we also have a green micarta exclusive. Right. And this version is the. This is number three or number. Yeah, number three. Yeah, number three for 2019. Um, but that green micarta version, I think, would have easily surpassed it if we if, <laughs> if we had like a, a a million more. Right. right? If, we, <laughs> if we had more earlier in the year, I think it would have surpassed. Yeah. yeah. But. The CEO is awesome. I have a couple friends that literally carry this everywhere they go. Um, they love how slim it is. It, they say it disappears in your pocket. It's actually a really cool knife. Uh, deep carry pocket clip, uh, liner lock, and I just really wish it was tip up carry. So there's actually a reason that it's this way. So uh, before, right, real quick before we show, because I got to use your shirt to show it, because right. I don't have my my uh, regular shirt on today. Right. Um, one thing that I love about this is how grippy the handles are. 
Yeah. They're so good. Surprisingly They're good. like so grippy. Right. Like, oh, I'm about that. I'm, and it's another thing that we've been seeing in 2019 is kind of more of a textured carbon, right. whether it's a, a, a carbon pattern or an actual carbon. I'm about that. Right. Um, anyway, so the reason that it's tipped down is on purpose. And that is so you can boop, put it in your shirt like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like a pen here. And then when you pull it out, then it's ready to fire right out oh, the gate. That's cool. Instead of like pulling it out of your shirt, flipping it around. I should probably try carrying one for a while. Yeah, you should carry one in your shirt pocket. They're they're really cool, man. Yeah. So great little knife from CRKT. Number three, thirty nine ninety nine on the yeah. website. The CEO. Yeah, hard to beat that. All right, so knife number two. We're almost to knife number one, guys. If you haven't stopped and went down in the comments and guessed what knife number one is, do it now. This is your last chance to get an honest, actual guess in. Yes. Every year, I know there's a few of you that watch to the end and then make your guesses. So make your honest guess. All right, so number two, which was number one last year, is the Kershaw Launch 4. Now, specifically, it was the All Black Launch 4. Right. Um, but we're completely sold out yeah, of those. We're, <laughs> we're sold out. They were very popular and are very popular. Right. Um, so I grabbed one of our exclusives. Again, we guys, we do tons of exclusives on all of your favorite knives. The Kershaw Launch 4 is no exception. I mean, we've had Desert Warriors, we've had different blades, we've had Damascus. We've got the red blade, the blue blade. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, knife number two, California Legal, super snappy. I love this thing. Kurt doesn't like it because he's got ham hands. Uh, I know all of you guys out there love it because in 2018, it was the number one knife of the it year. It was, and um, it's, still, yeah. it's still grabbing at the top. Yeah, I mean, so. that's the thing. Made in the USA, incredible warranty. Right. We got a ton of different of our own exclusive patterns. It really is a great knife. It is. I, it and is. you guys, obviously, it's number two for a reason. Exactly. I just, you know, my Dude, ham hands. And that's it. it. Just, the, the reality of it is, right. is like, like your hand size really does dictate what type of knives you like right. to carry. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Cool. All right. Well, so number one. Oh my god. Are you so excited? I am so pumped. It's a huge, it's like kind of, it's like unbelievable which one it is. <laughs> you guys make sure you made your guesses. Let's just get right what into it. What do you got? It. What do you got? I have got the Benchmade <laughs> Blackout <laughs> Bug Out. Surprise! And let's just be honest, this is the model we've wanted from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. We've Since wanted the, first the all bug black. Out. Yeah. Right. We've wanted the all black. We call it the blackout. I can't even say like there's so many good things I can say about this knife. You, I had to let Kurt do this one you because guys, it is his favorite. You guys know I am a hardcore bug out fan. I carry one daily. Um, they're sweet. S30, S30V steel, deep mini carry pocket yep. clip. And um, there's tons of options from Flytanium mm -hmm. and some other places to uh, customize, customize yours. Get some scales, get some titanium screws, that kind of a thing. But the Blackout Bugout. Yeah. I'm not even mad. Now, here's the thing that's crazy. So in 2017, the Blackout was, I think, like number seven or something like right. that. In 2018, it was like number three or something. The Bugout, sorry, right. the Bugout specifically. And then this year, we launched the bug, the Blackout. And this was a Blade HQ exclusive. Right. This, for the first year ever, usually, if you guys have watched the last videos, you guys will know that the Blue Lube, the Benchmade Blue Lube, is like the number one seller right. of all time. This. This is the number one seller of all time on Blade HQ website this oh, year. Yeah. So you guys bought a grip of these blackouts and not just these, but also the bug outs in general. Right, yeah. right. Great yeah. knife. An amazing knife. I, yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, and to talk about it, we actually brought a special guest on. Yeah, we did. To talk about the, the, the bug out. So uh, let's take a look at that. Wow, I could not have done this without you guys. Finally, number one. 2017, I was number seven. 2018, I was number three. And now I'm number one. Woo! I'm so excited. First of all, I just want to thank Benchmade and Blade HQ and all my people who are out there that can cut anything. Let's see, you can cut paper, you can cut rope, you can cut vegetables, you can cut your pancake. Let's never do that again. You know, what a humble dude. I know. <laughs> Seriously, what a great guy. Are you guys related? Because you sound kind of similar. You know what? We might be a distant cousin. Might be distant cousins. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, as promised, um, we, me and Kurt uh, picked a couple of our favorites from this year. Obviously, from what's on the table, automatics and folders are yeah. kind of where it's at. Um, there, were, there were a bunch of good fixed blades that we loved as well. Tons. Uh, but we're, we're just going to highlight uh, our favorite folder, our favorite auto. 
And I might have a secret one in there. I always got a secret one for. He always. I always, I always do for these. It's that's so okay. hard. No, it's, like, it's okay. It's good. Picking your favorite child. You know what? You know what I mean? There, there's always that one last thing that everybody wants to see. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. And so it's it's totally good. It's totally good. Um, all right. So for folders. So me and Kurt talked about folders. We actually tied on what our favorite, specifically like 2019 release folder was. Um, so we kind of flipped a coin. Kurt got the one that we tied on. Winner. Which actually worked out well because it gave me a chance to think a little bit more and I right. actually landed on another knife anyways. Um, so kind of an interesting one. Yeah. Um, so for me, uh, 2019, one of my favorite knives for 2019 was the Cold Steel 8015. It's a really good knife. Dude, it's a really good knife. And this, and this is the reason why is I love knives that convince me to start carrying kind of a different style of knife or convince me to carry like a different genre than, I'm, than I usually do. Yeah. So for example, the Wii Scamp. The Wii Scamp, the, the slip joint, it convinced me to start carrying slip joints again, right. right? And now I have a bunch of slip joints that I really enjoy. I mean, that Victorinox compact's in my pocket like all the time. <laughs> yes, it is. And if it wasn't for the Wii Scamp, I would never would have got there, right? right? Um, and so the 8015 is an awesome knife, not only because I got one from Lynn Thompson, which was awesome. That's huge. Um, but also because it, it, after carrying it, it's convinced me to like, start considering bigger knives, like huh. carrying bigger huh. knives. I've always been kind of a smaller pocket knife guy. Right. And the 8015 is not a huge knife by any means, but it's much bigger than what I'm used to carrying. Right. Um, so anyways, so the uh, it's got a, a CPM S35VN blade. It's got that awesome Demco Scorpion lock that once you get used to it is you can easily one hand and open, really close it. Yeah, mine's, I've loosened mine up a little bit. Uh, this one's off the shelf, so I won't play with it too much here, but um, it's got the uh, two-way uh, pocket clip and just it's awesome. a really honestly the scorpion lock it's so cool sets it so far apart yeah it's it's a really cool design yeah and it is a solid lockup it's knife. a solid lockup knife and not only is the lock strong but the way that the lock works is then when you put it in your hand yeah you're holding the you lock have to down. break your grip for this knife to close on your hand right. yeah <laughs> and even then one. it's a strong lock so right. the 8015 for me was one of one of my favorite folders of 2019 and that goes for about 149 dollars Actually, it was on sale for a while. I actually don't know what it usually goes for. I think we had it on sale for a while. Check the website for current pricing. Right. Okay, this is the one that me and Zach both <laughs> fought <love>. over. <laughs> we uh, flipped the coin. It is the Civivi Elementum. No surprise. I mean, we've no been crushing surprise. on this thing. What did they release this in July or something? Yeah. We've like been crushing like on this thing since day one. This thing came in and we immediately put it on a video. We were immediately telling you guys about it. Um, this one came out of my pocket because we're currently sold out, yeah, we as is always the case. Them, right? <laughs> but when they come into stock, you guys buy them, yeah. and like you guys buy them so fast that we don't get those. You don't it's, have one yet, right? I don't have one. I didn't get one till the third uh, run, right? Because they were just gone I'm that still fast. Waiting, <laughs> yeah. And uh, honestly, guys, this is our number one folder pick because it's so dang good. It's so dang good. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Whether it's doesn't matter what country it's from, that is a solid knife. It is as far as the best folder. This, in my opinion, wins the 2019 new entries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, man. and this D2 blade, G10 handle, deep carry pocket clip, right. everything you expect from Civivi with that. I mean, just perfect centering out of the box. Great knife. It is solid. And 50 bucks on the website. Yeah, and and again. When they're in stock. When they're in stock. So maybe they'll be in stock now. Also, when we talked about that Natrix, we talked about how copper is a thing. Right. We also know brass is a thing. Micarta is a thing. Keep your eye on the website. We might have some stuff in the works on that Elementum. So I am very excited. There's some exciting that. stuff. I've seen a couple things, and I'm very excited. So oh, man. anyways, um, all right, so autos. So yep. uh, for me personally, uh, one of my favorite autos for 2019 was that Protec SBR. It's a nice knife. It's such a nice knife. And this is the thing is I love Protec. Like I will, I will, Protec's amazing. I mean, right. US made, incredible quality. They always have great builds. Their knives are always beautiful. Um, but there hasn't been one that's really spoken to me. Right? right, like a lot of their knives, they're, they're, they 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 kind of come to more of a point than I like. They seem a little thin behind the edge, just because I'm abusive to my knives. Um, true. But this SBR is 100% just like a workhorse. It's um, cool, and it's, I love the color. Exactly, it's nice and compact. Um, it's got a great blade profile, and then they've come in smooth, and then with the knurling, and I like the ones with the knurling. So, right. um, anyways, Protec SBR deep carry pocket clip. 
just a just a rad knife. It's got S35 blade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, S35 blade. Um, yeah, aluminum chassis. Great knife, and you can pick those up for. It depends on the one. This one goes for 199, so right around 200 bucks. Right on the website. Great knife from Protech. That is a cool one. All right, guys. My auto pick was the Burnley Boker Keyhone. It's a great one. It honestly is really cool. Um, let's be honest. It's a Burnley. Lucas, you're my homeboy. <laughs> Lucas was in the studio recently, and right. man, we just had a great time. <laughs> it was awesome. Glad I got to meet him. This is a stellar design, and Boker made it in automatic, so. Yeah. Great I mean, you, you can't go wrong. This runs in line with all the other Boker autos, the Kalashnikov, mm -hmm. the Strike, all the things. This one is sweet. And we have Desert Warrior, this mm -hmm. and an all black and an one. all black one and all of them are blade hq exclusive right. so you can just you only can get them here and uh yeah it's a solid pick it's a it's a solid pick yeah. and they're 50 bucks 50 bucks can't beat that so all right and then uh <laughs> because i always got to have a secret one uh kind of the upset it didn't really fit any of the other categories right um the leatherman free man it's a good I it's a good Leatherman. I you know, we did a video with the with the Leatherman Free um and a and a bunch of our friends on YouTube. Yeah. Um and uh it, it was a really fun video to make. It was really fun being able to use the knife and like really get to know it uh, or the tool whatever you want to call it, but you know, it works on magnets. And so everything on the knife is one-handed. And uh, man, I just really love this thing. This one in particular is the P2. There's a bunch in the free series. Um, I like the P2 the best because um, it just feels not too heavy in the pocket. The P4 right. feels a little heavy in the pocket for me. Um, but yeah, nice deep carry pocket clip. So that that's kind of my secret one of the year. This one, I, I really, really dug the, that, the Lebanon Free. That was actually one of my favorite uh, tools, knives to photograph yeah. this year. You did some really fun I, stuff with yeah, that. Yeah, we did yeah. some fun stuff with it because it's just so versatile. It really is. It really is cool. Yeah, man. And, and I ended one, up... The one hand opening, Yeah, that's key. Yeah, and then, you know, the, the fun thing about it is I had it in my pocket testing it out so I could tell you guys my honest opinion on it. And I ended up having to help my brother like re rewire his house. And I ended up like in the video I worked on right. a motorcycle. Yeah. So I, I was able to put it to, through some good paces and I liked it. That's so, awesome. And uh, those go, the, the P2 goes for one nineteen ninety five on the website. And that's 2019. We did it. I, it's exciting. Heck yeah. I'm excited for 2020. We're getting ready for SHOT Show. We got a couple sneak preview videos coming out uh, with CRKT and Gerber before SHOT Show. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Both of them were a ton of fun to make. Um, let us know down in the comments what your guys' favorite knives were for 2019 and what you're excited for for 2020. Yep. I want to see some sweet stuff. I'm so stoked for SHOT Show. I'm like so excited. You want to know what I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited for? I'm excited to see what will tip toe past the bug out for number one next yeah, year. Yeah, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting to see what, what if, the, if right. the bug out will be unseated as king. Right, <laughs> right. I think it should be the mermaid. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I'm really, guys, why wasn't the mermaid on here? <laughs> Come on. Make it so. Make it so in 2020. Probably because the, the same reason the Elementum wasn't here. Every time we get mermaids in, they sell out immediately. Right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, it's been a ton of fun. It's been a great year. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for tuning into these videos. We have a blast. And uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming for 2020. We've got some new stuff coming. And uh, yeah, hit subscribe. Don't miss out. We'll see you on the next one.